On the first night in Brenna McIntyre's new apartment, a burglar walked up to her car, shattered a window, and stole a bag. I looked over and I was like, well, why is there glass on the ground? And then I looked up and I was like, oh no, my window got broken in, or my car got broken in two. A common crime? Police say eight incidents of larceny and burglary in 72 hours. Larceny is the theft of personal property, and burglary is forced access and theft of personal property. She put it under the seat a bit, but you could easily, at, at, at an angle, see what was under there. UAPD officers see this crime often because criminals often take what they can see. A lot of the larcenies that we encounter here are mainly crimes of opportunity. Officer Moreno says from January 1st to October 21st, there were 425 larceny related crimes at the U of A. Here's how you can make sure your car isn't a red flag. Criminals are looking for anything of value. Specialists recommend always parking in open light and make sure that you're closing and locking all of your doors. Most thieves are gonna walk up to your car and they're gonna look into your window to see if they see anything good. If they see a backpack like I do right now, it's a matter of grabbing a rock, smashing it, grabbing it, and go. The Specialist is a car security company that started in Tucson 42 years ago. Alex Drachman recommends people add security technology to their cars to stop criminals from breaking in. At the very least, get a flashing light in your car just to trick the thief into thinking that, they do, that you do have an alarm in your car. If you're someone that wants the real deal, Alex says an alarm system will allow you to have more control over your vehicle. Alarm systems range from $100 to $300, and the latest technology keeps the owner up to date at all times. Use your phone to lock and lock your car, uh, set your alarm with your phone, or, or uh, even get notices from your phone. If your car does get broken into, you get a text message telling you that somebody's messing with your car. UAPD is doing its part by having officers patrol lots, but they believe it takes a community to decrease these types of crimes. Car owners need to take responsibility for their belongings. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Alexis Whitaker.